What is up? Uh, coming to you today with a little bit of a vlog. I'm going on a trip to Seattle and as you can see, um, it is raining really, really hard. Here's my Padre. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey, YouTube. Uh, we're just passing over some really cool scenery here. Love this part of the drive. So we made it downtown. I didn't uh, film any more last night because we were both exhausted and hit the hay right away. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera here and you can see just spectacular downtown. Got the stadium, CenturyLink over there, got the Eye of Seattle, the cranes loading up the barges. Man, it's just beautiful. Oh, you can see way in the distance there. You got Mount Rainier in the distance right between the stadiums. That is super cool. A little bit later in the video or you can click the annotation right in the bottom corner here uh, to skip right to painted with a horse um, painted by a horse excuse me uh, this is my aunt who uh, does awesome works of art uh, using her horse and her own artistic skills and the horse paints it um, she cuts out the stems with it. it's great I'll show you guys a little bit later um, also check link in the description if you want to see her store beautiful view such a nice day you can see oh the ferris wheels going Ooh, crap pot. Crab. Crab is delicious. Coming into the city, beautiful shot. I mean, just look at that skyline. It's just amazing. You got the cranes. Yeah. The big. Roxy. Nice. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Hey guys, okay, so we're in the barn. You can see Murphy, the amazing painting horse behind me. Uh, we'll talk to him in a little bit. I'm going to introduce you to the artist behind the paintings and uh, the whole crew here, and then we'll get painting. Hi, Mojo! Hey, Mojo! What's up, buddy? Hi, guy! Oh. Hi, Mojo! You are funny! Hi, Mojo! Hello! <laughs> Hi, Murphy! Hey, Murphy! Say hello! Oh, I'm ready for my carrots! Oh, stop chewing one. Stop saying hello. Go, bed, man! So oh, horses, oh, horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk like a horse, of course, unless, of course, the talking horse is the famous, famous Mr. Murphy! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, he's starting to fall. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, this is my uncle, Jason, and he uh, helps my Aunt Candace out with her paintings. Uh, he got Mojo the mini horse here with him, um, and he helps with clear coating paintings and uh, kind of any little things that need to be done. So here is the artist herself, my Aunt Candace and Murphy with his painter's hat on. Yes. We are getting ready to paint. Are you excited, Murphy? Murph, come look at the camera. So I mm. taught, taught Murphy to paint by teaching him to hold the brush and then drop the brush and then touch his nose to the canvas, and then hold the brush and touch the brush to the canvas. But it wasn't until I actually added paint that he totally understands what we do here. And he loves it. Look at that. Stand the canvas. Funny. Oh, good job. I have to pull it out of his way because he likes to lick it. <laughs> and so I have to get it away. And then I have to feed him over here so that I have room, time to get the brush and everything. And his head's out of the way. And you're just feeding him the peppermints? Yeah, oh, and he loves peppermints. He paints only for peppermints. <laughs> if I did, oh, it was one time I didn't have peppermints, he just dropped the brush and walked away. Not want nothing more to do with it. Yeah, what do you think, buddy? Good job. Takes him a few, few times to warm up. There you go, buddy. Let's do a different color green. And then, it just depends on what kind of mood he is in for how he's going to paint. And sometimes he just presses back and forth in one spot. Sometimes he swirls it around a lot. So we try to use different colors to show the strokes. Oh, come on, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> come on, you can't stop in the middle. There you go. 
So tonight he's in a mood where he just goes back and forth in one spot. So that's when I use other colors to kind of make it interesting. Good job, buddy. Yes. You're the smartest horse ever. And he does this because he wants me to do, give him more. <laughs> more, more, more. Good job. Oh, you're distracted by the cameraman. There you go. All right. And he goes off the canvas. He goes outside the lines, and he's still a good artist. So <laughs> if anybody ever tells you not to go outside the lines. He really wants to go for it. Very nice. Oh, and he always drops the brush when he's done. He's like, I'm done. It's like mic drop, but it's paintbrush. <laughs> All right, I'll get another one. Hi, Murphy. Pretty fast. There you go, buddy. Oh, very nice. Get back on the canvas. Get on the canvas. So he actually knows where the canvas is. Yeah. He actually knows what he's doing. Which I find so fascinating. He's really, really smart. Yeah. What's his favorite color? Blue. Yeah. Murphy's favorite color is blue. That's why a lot of his paintings have blue in them. Good job, buddy. Oh, that's so pretty. That's a crazy color. Very nice. Very good job. And I think Murphy understands like the art of performing because... He's different when it's just the two of us. When he, when people are here, he tries even harder. He, he's kind of a ham. Are you a ham? And peppermints make him licky. So that's why he's licking my hand so much. <laughs> it makes his mouth feel funny. So then he'll usually paint this and then lick it up. <laughs> so all the paint is non-toxic. <laughs> <laughs> And I checked with my vet on how many peppermints he could have in one sitting and just to make sure the paint was okay. So we care. Oh my gosh. We'll just come over like, what's going on over here, you guys? What do you think, Murph? You can see like where he presses so hard, you can see the white underneath. There you go, Murphy. Good job. Oh. And then he tells Mojo, you get out of here, Mojo. Watch, his ears will go back. Oh, is that enough? He's putting his best hoof forward. And his best hoof forward. Okay, buddy, there you go. There wow, you go, good job. Good and that's Murphy the Painting Horse. So, got a lot of colors. Um, I mean, how do you choose the colors you put into your paintings? Well, I usually am inspired by what I want to make, like the animal. And so, a macaw is red and blue and yellow, so I choose those colors. Or I just kind of choose Murphy's favorite colors, which is blue or anything that has blue in it, like purple or green. And that was what I chose tonight because those are his favorite colors. Horses see on the blue spectrum only. They don't see red and yellow. So their world is gray and blue. So he's always attracted to things that are bright and doing gray or white or black. He's like, meh, he'll drop the brush and just kind of not give it as much effort. So my husband makes special brushes for Murphy. We take a regular paintbrush that you would paint your wall with and put a new handle on that is a thick block of untreated wood. So it's all natural and he loves to grip onto it and chew it. And so oftentimes you'll see the bits of the brush in the painting because he chews the brush while he paints. We also put duct tape around the metal band because he presses so hard, he's taken that metal edge and just ripped the canvas open. So we do everything we can to protect the canvas from his insanely strong mouth and neck muscles. And you see, he gets it everywhere. He doesn't stay on the canvas every time. It's kind of a work of art in itself. Yes. Forget peppermints. I go and buy mini candy canes on clearance right after Christmas and Murphy loves them and will paint for these and nothing else. So I bring the paintings, once he's painted them, into the tack room to dry. It's a heated tack room. But it was something interesting I wanted to show you about the backs of the paintings. We take foam inserts and place them in the back of the painting because Murphy paints so hard, he's pushed right, like ripped right through the canvas. So we need always need protection when painting with a horse. 
So, I'm teaching Mojo to paint as well, and he watches Murphy get treats for this, so he loves it. Hold the brush. Good boy, paint. Yes, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes, yes, good job. There you go. Good job. Hi, <laughs> Mojo. Oh, no, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Bye, Murphy. Thanks for painting. <laughs> hey, welcome to the studio. This is where all the magic happens in the background when Murphy's not doing his painting. So this is kind of the area where I put the paintings through the production. And so, you know, when they just have one color on them, they go in the first slot. And then when they're finished, but they need to be photographed, they go into the next slot. And so they're all, these are all working their way through to be announced online and be put into the Etsy shop. And then below here is all the paintings that I have in the Etsy shop. So all of these are available for sale and they're pretty cool. This is some of his earlier work and they are all available. We have a spotted horse, jumping horse, Pegasus, bunch of Pegasuses, Pinto horses, white horses, anything you can think of. We have a dressage horse. It's all available. It's an Appaloosa. Etsy.com. So you just have to go to www.paintedbyahorse.etsy.com. So you don't just do horse stuff then, right? No, we do anything inspirational. So I did this for Memorial Day and I make the animals. I made a cocktail painting for someone. So I have a lot of custom paintings that I do for people and they request what they would like so I can do anything from a wine glass, a cocktail, American flag, any animal and logos and sports teams. I got commissioned to do a Miami Dolphins one time so Murphy and I can pretty much do anything. So I had this inspiration to be able to bring Murphy's paintings to more people in an accessible way. So I decided to write a children's book and it's a children's book of A to Z animals with a focus on endangered species. And I'm hoping to help raise awareness and funds for conservation efforts. So here are a rundown of a few of the paintings you will see in the book. So M is for macaw, G is for gorilla, we have K is for kangaroo, L is for lion, we have humpback whale, also endangered, African wild dog, and my favorite is the Xantus hummingbird, X-A-N-T-U-S. So X is for Xantus hummingbird. So this one was really difficult. Um, it has so many different layers of color and so many bits that I had to line up. I had to remember where everything went. So I started out with the orange and I covered all the orange areas that I wanted. And then I painted green over the top of that. And so I put the tape here and here. And I noticed when I painted the orange, he ripped the canvas across right here. And so the green bled all over. So then I just kind of covered up some green areas to fill it in a bit more. And then I cover, painted black for this area, this area, the tip, the feet, this area. This was the most difficult one I'd done to date with the most layers of color and detail. And so finally when I'd gotten all that, I came, uh, came back and he did all the blue. And uh, so that created the background. And when you peel all that tape away, you get the Xantus hummingbird. So I found that I would have Murphy layer the paint and I would have a painting that was covered in color. And I always felt so guilty peeling that tape off and throwing it away. I just thought, oh, oh there's all those beautiful brush strokes. So I started peeling them off really slowly and then just sticking them on my ceiling just for fun. And I've gotten kind of a collection of them. So I started framing them. And so I peeled the tape off of a horse that I had done and reassembled it onto the white paper. And now I sell these just because they're cool looking and the, the center part was painted by a horse. Okay, it 
all starts with the masking tape. I will put it all flat down on a cutting board and draw the animal and cut it out. And then I do a piece of paper stencil as well so when I transfer the tape to the canvas I know where to put the tape inside. So this one was going to be a sea turtle. And to kind of illustrate the process is I cut the animal out and I put the tape down and then I have to paint over the tape. And once I peel the tape away you will see the final horse. And this is the finished horse once I peel the tape off. So Murphy and I do a lot of custom work for people. They will commission us to do something for them. Uh, so these are some of my commissions that I have made and when I make them they feel like my babies and I'm sending them off to a new home. So I always want to get a picture of them and have them on the wall so I remember. Uh, this one's called Golden Morning and I made it for a gal. She wanted a metallic gold painting. So that is metallic. Uh, and this is for a teenager who loves horses. Her mom had me come to their house and look at their room and look at the colors and really make something that matched her room beautifully that she can have for the rest of her life because she loves horses. And this one was a set of two paintings and it is a lady riding her horse. She's a big dressage rider and she has two, which well, has three horses, but two of her horses, she had custom paintings of her riding them. And when she saw them, she said, I can actually see the different horses in the paintings. So this is some of our commission work. We're always available to do commission work. I love making paintings for people, especially special paintings. So don't hesitate to contact me. We can do anything for you. So that is the amazing Murphy, the painting horse. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Please check out my aunt and her uh, Etsy and her YouTube and all the stuff she does. Link in description below. Uh, awesome stuff she's doing. Um, also writing a children's book uh, which will have feature endangered animals. Um, and so profits will go uh, towards saving those endangered animals. Really cool book. Really cool story. Check them out. Link in description. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe.